Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the uh, congresswoman from Florida, Democratic National Committee chairman. It was so much easier to hate the Gators when Spurrier was there. I mean, as a Tennessee <laughs> fan, I mean, you know, I mean, they're okay. And you can't really rev up hatred for South Carolina because, well, who cares? And as everybody moves to South Carolina next week. But it's just not fun to hate you guys anymore now that, now that Spurrier's not there. Well, you know, the Gators are the Gator Nation is uh, is one of the premier institutions in the country, and uh, Tim Tebow was a fabulous quarterback. You know, I'm I'm a uh, Miami Dolphins fan, but it's hard not to be proud of Tim Tebow and what he's doing. In, in, and and you may end up with our old Titans coach Jeff Fisher, apparently uh, talking with the Miami Dolphins. May uh, may head from uh, the Titans a couple of years ago down to Miami. He's 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 got that classic South Beach, wear the shades <laughs> kind of cool. I mean, he'd fit in well with the Dolphins. Dolphins did a great job. Uh, uh, in the second half of the season. We were uh, getting a little concerned there for a while, but uh, they had a nice recovery. Didn't quite make the playoffs, but uh, we're, we're, we're on a resurgence in, uh, in in Miami. It was hard. When my boys were younger, we were, I, was, I was watching some... Uh, some uh, bowl game and you know they said well who are we for dad you know because the guys said we're for the blue guys and we're you know we're watching the game and then they go to commercial break and said well and with the Florida Gators up there going we're cheering for the Gators it's like look it's bowl season you put that stuff aside bowl season so everybody could friends. agree last night you were probably watching the uh, the championship game it was all listen at the end of the day even though I'm certainly no Vols fan much to the chagrin of my friend Heath Schuler, who I serve in conference yes. with now the, the best thing about the national championship last night was that the SEC won either way. <laughs> <laughs> and, and at bowl time, that's the thing that I think sets the SEC apart. Everybody's on the same team. There is a family really feel. Is. I mean, it is brutal on Saturdays, but come bowl season, everybody's in the SEC. No, absolutely. Yeah. It's uh, it, it's a it's a real team effort. So how do we get that comedy in Congress? Not comedy, comedy <laughs> right, in Congress. Right, yeah, how, how do we get you all to show the love and affection? You know, there's never a postseason. There's never a bowl game. You know, uh, th there are uh, some of us who really make an effort at reaching across the aisle. There's more comedy than you would, uh, <laughs> with a T, than uh, than you might see. But it is really polarized right now, and it's it's un it's unfortunate. There's um, there's far I, I, on the Republican side. But you dish I, out I, your share. Of, I mean, part of it's your job. You well, dish out your share of vitriol too. Th there's nothing wrong with disagreeing, but treating your opponent like they're the enemy, which the Tea Party really has brought. Uh, like in, Occupy in, Wall Street, George Soros, Democrat. Party party funded but, doesn't uh, well no not in the same way the tea party i'll tell you when I, when i have um when i've been at my town hall meetings in south florida uh, you know i've been in office for 19 years and i've always had people show up to those and disagree with me on issues uh, but now since the advent of the tea party when they when, when a tea party person stands up and and says that they don't agree with me I, i'm not just wrong in their mind i'm the enemy and and the whole tone has changed and and really but you've got occupy wall edge. street that are out here bounding on windows disrupting heckling events worse than the tea party did they're defecating on police cars stomping on the american flag well, you're making sex a, drugs no, 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 anarchism i mean you've seen it all over Steve, the country you're making a, a, a sweeping generalization but you're about generalizing the tea party no, I, I'm talking about my personal experience with Tea Party activists and my observations of the members of the Congress that affiliate with the Tea Party and the way they conduct themselves. But you don't now, see you the vileness of what's going on with Occupy Wall Street all over the country, the, 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 the vandalism? The Occupy Wall Street movement is a reflection and reflective of the absolute frustration of the middle class and of working families who have been victims of, of the Republican policies that let the corporate America just run over consumers and and so I, I certainly I condemn individuals who engage in that kind of conduct conduct just like I did when when Tea Party activists did, did things that, that were offensive but at the end of the day we have to make sure that we have a debate in this country that isn't divisive that isn't uh, that doesn't demonize our opposition and we need to make sure that whether you're a Republican or a Democrat that we are focusing on helping everyone be successful not just the wealthiest, most fortunate Americans. And unfortunately, that's the tack that, that Republicans have taken. If we only focus on millionaires and billionaires and helping them do well, Republicans seem to feel that that's how we're going to get the economy turned around, uh, particularly with Mitt Romney, who uh, you know has said that corporations are people and who said that we shouldn't do anything to help people remain in their homes. Let's let the foreclosure crisis just hit bottom. Uh, I mean, yesterday he said he enjoys firing people. And in Florida... Well, that's taken out of context. What he said well, is, is do you want to have a free market system where if you're not providing me with good service, 
I get to fire you. If you're a if you're a waitress or a waiter and you don't provide me good service, I get to decide unless I'm forced to tip you how much I tip. You have more better service think, where people have that that give and take. Steve, but I think his comment reflected the callous insensitivity that he has as a result of him being the CEO of Bain Capital, where his job was to fire people. His job was to his come job in, to create take over wealth? economy, outsource, uh, take over a company, outsource jobs, bank, deliberately bankrupt companies, simply to make money for his investors. Uh, so that's what venture capitalists do. Uh, capitalists do. Will the Democratic well, Party, will the Obama, creation. will the Obama White House, and will the Democratic Party vow that they will not accept any venture capital contributions this election cycle if they're that vile and they're that bad? Well, and if that's what they do is is fire people, venture capital money ought to be off base, right? Mitt Romney rightfully gets called out for his claiming that his experience is what's going to help turn this country around and create jobs when there's no evidence to back up his claims for job creation and his job his job experience is to shut down companies raid pension funds cut health benefits and outsource jobs i'd, I'd argue that the job creation plan of this administration's been worse but we'll we, get back well, we'll get back we've we can, created we can disagree. 22 straight months of private sector job growth almost 3 million jobs and taken us from bleeding 750,000 jobs to now 22 straight months of job growth I'd so this has a been a good economy. Be We've got a good economy. We should We've be got proud a long of. way to go, but we've begun to make slow and steady progress. We'll see where it goes. Thank we'll, you. We'll agree to disagree on that. We're good to visit That's with fine. you. You, you have fun. Have a good Thanks. time in New Hampshire today. Thanks, we'll Will be Gators. back with uh, more of the Steve Gill Show in just a moment. We're in Manchester, New Hampshire.